Hello, friends. Welcome. <clears throat> it's been a while since we've been in Satisfactory. Almost a month. About uh, four weeks, four and a half weeks-ish. But we're back for at least a little bit today. Wanted to do a short stream on Monday after not being able to do pretty much anything uh, with YouTube over the weekend. But hope everyone is doing fantastic. Battery smooth, I see you as always. Had a uh, nice uh, weekend doing stuff with family. That's always very important. So no regrets about that. But uh, I figured we did need to get back in here before it was uh, too long without any action. Last time we did uh, train stuff, built ourselves this little loop going all the way over to the oil area. And uh, we, got a lot, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're trying to do space elevator parts. Uh, we're making modular engines currently. Have 115, 116 actually just went in. Uh, we got to have 500 of those and then you have to have 100 of the, I think those are adaptive control units. I don't know, it's been a while. So let's uh, let's pop on over there and see what our progress is looking like, and see what we can get ourselves up to. Yeah, we're making modular engines, two point five per minute. So um, suffice to say, it's going to be a long time. Two point five per minute. We got to make another three hundred and eighty-three of those. So yeah, it's going to be eh, at least two hours worth of production, assuming nothing goes wrong with this so we'll just leave that alone do what it's got to do and come back and check on it at some point in the future but there is still some other stuff we can get to we can keep building uh train infrastructure we can keep looking at how everything else is coming together we could go for a drive and see what's up just little things and the train's here you know just uh casual stuff and get out of the way there we go. I love it when my email program just makes noise every single time I stream for some reason. Uh, but we have been uh, we've been getting stuff unloaded and sorted to some extent in these little containers. We've got plastic here, we've got rubber here, and then over here we have fuel, which also ends up uh, going over to this truck station. Uh, we currently have quite a bit of fuel extra. So we're probably going to want to have this routed into the... Uh, uh, I, don't, I can't remember what the thing's called. The recycler uh, resource sink, whatever it is. But we're about to see all this stuff start coming out here. And then they'll, uh, they'll get that all sorted up for us. And off the train goes. Yep. So what do we, uh, what do we have in here? Yep, we got some plastic, got some rubber. Got some fuel, everything's looking just fine. Now, if we had uh, mushrooms, mycelia, we could do gas mask research. But right now, we do not. We just have this uh, kind of a mess right here. And then uh, down below over there, we've got our, uh, our area where we're uh, doing all our research and stuff in. So for right now, I think this is probably fine. We'll leave this as it is and uh, just continue on what we're doing. We could go slug hunting. Could be a fun uh, fun thing to do with ourselves here. I forgot you guys had me name that Speedy Hooker. Wow. Alright. Family friendly always. Where is my car? It's somewhere over here. I think it is. Those crates over there are for what? I actually don't remember. So allegedly there is a slug somewhere over here. I think we figured this out last time. It was like way up on top of something we probably couldn't get to. But regardless. <laughs> yeah, I, I, do, uh, I do see the kind of stuff they get away with in kids' films. Makes it more fun for the parents, I guess. Uh, we got some research we can do here. Uh, there are sulfur stuff. So we could actually go make a trip over to the sulfur uh, mines. If I remember where that is, we could check our map here. I can't hit the correct buttons. It's always smart. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, pure sulfur. Okay. And then that's quartz. Um, <laughs> blow this up for fabulous cash and prizes. I think we already did that. But I'll tell you what. Let's let's go get in the car, see if we have any, uh, any cargo space. Go get us some sulfur. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll take uh, we'll take all this stuff out, 
and uh, we'll put the plastic where it needs to go, and then we'll sink the ore. I think that's probably the uh, best thing we can do. Roy, good to see you. What are we going to do today? Uh, waiting on modular engines to get made. Uh, but we can do some exploration, uh, see if there's anything interesting we come across. Just hang out, have a good time. It's always fun. Going to try to take over the world, now let's go slug hunting. I mean, that kind of is taking over the world, we think about it, in the context of how this uh, this game does environmental interactions. Hey, train's here. We could also take the train over to the uh, the oil area, but I don't think we really uh, need to go back over there for the time being. All right. What we will do, though, is, uh, let's see... I will get a couple more stacks of fuel so we never run out in the car. Uh, speaking of, yep, there it is. I just got to remember exactly where the pure sulfur area is. Can I open the map in the car? I can! Oh, that is a power play. I'm probably going to hit something because I, yep, because I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure our sulfur area is in that general direction. But since we're already over here, let's see what uh, see what meatballs up. Why is it so huge? My God! <laughs> oh, it's April Fool's Day. Uh, <laughs> someone, someone get devilish in here immediately. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, all right. Tur turn this way so I can get a so I can get a picture. Come on. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's so big. All right. Um. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Meeple. I don't need limestone right now, but I appreciate you anyway. <laughs> thing is enormous dude oh man <laughs> all right that's um <laughs> yeah time to stop feeding them the toxic chemical dog food you are absolutely correct <laughs> that's that's actually really funny that's my ladder to go all the way up there to get the slug. I probably... Oh, look at the, the head on the... <laughs> why, is the why is the helmet so huge? <laughs> that is, that's really funny. It's, it's just a, a stupid thing. It's just so dumb. That's the kind of April Fool stuff I can appreciate. I don't like, like, the elaborate, like, social, like, engineering, like, gaslighting garbage, but this this kind of stuff is really funny. I must have been eating some sort of toxic something, yeah. Okay, sulfur is pretty much directly north. Yeah, we can make it up there. Are the other mobs huge, too? Because I don't, um, I hear something. I don't see it. What in the world is that? Um, That's like that fly thing, but it's on legs. What in the... What in the world is that thing? <laughs> this must be another one of those April Fool's bits. Yeah, that's, that's weird. That just looks freaky. What's up? Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, so it's still hostile. Oh, that's a hog. Alright, let's get in the car. <laughs> that's a spider. <laughs> what? <laughs> this thing is so small. <laughs> Can you still bounce on it? I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not messing with those spiders. Yeah, that's exactly... Oh, hey, it's a blue uh, uh, power slug. If I get close to this, is it going to spawn those bees? 
or whatever those things are. Alright. So now what? Oh, that's the gas. Okay, let's um let's not do that. <laughs> Alright, um <laughs> This thing is so dumb. Alright, can I um good. Make my way across here. And then we'll just um we'll just drive past all this stuff. Alright, pretty sure can't hurt me here. That's a sound. I can't see because it's dark. What is making that sound? Don't know. I guess it was nothing. I want to pick up the slug. Let me pick up the slug. Do I have to stand on the car? Probably do. Oh. I guess I have to pick up the leaves just to get to the slug. Alright, so that's done. Now we should... Yeah, right up here. If I was smart, I would have brought a portable miner. I don't think I did. And I don't think I had one set up up here. Oh, no, I do. Okay, good. Well, that, at the very least, was an intelligent choice. Yeah, so give me that sulfur. We'll let those run for a little bit. Is there anything else of interest out here? No power slug. Ah, there's power slug. Okay, I can see. Um, hello? What is that? What was that, like, something sending me an artillery mortar or something? I guess that's probably this, uh, these guys. They were always kind of doing this. But I, I don't remember it having, like, an arc to it. I thought it was just, like, a laser beam. Yeah, so I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to mess with them too much. But I guess we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. Oh, hello. All right, back in the car. You can't hurt me in here. I imagine they'll fix that at some point, but it's nice to have a little bit of an escape emergency thing. Hey, William. Ah, oh, I can't get through here. Boo. Oh, don't tell me the car is stuck. Oh, that's such crap. Garbage. Did I did I glitch inside the rock? I absolutely did. I absolutely did. I, I glitched inside the uh, the scenery. All right, that's um. I don't think I want that. Hey, Jason. All right, now I'm no longer trapped inside the scenery. But that was um. That was quite strange. Okay, all right. They're they're shooting bombs at me again. Hello, can I help you? Trying to uh, trying to do something, huh? All right. Well, I don't think I can get this thing out of here. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do about that. I guess I'm gonna have to just disassemble it and put it back together. But um, as long as this guy, is, the helmet being huge is so funny. Oh, hey, I'm inside the thing again. Okay. That's, um... How far can I go inside of this? Yeah, it, it, I'm just inside the collision mesh of this entire rock here. That seems like it's a glitch. That could also maybe be related to the, uh, the giant head thing, maybe. I don't know. So if I'm looking in the right... Yeah, okay, so I look there... If I look this way, is it going to keep me in the other one? No, I think it's just the, uh... Okay. Alright, this could actually become a problem. Alright, now I'm not... Now I'm not trapped. Alright. So this thing is going to absolutely body me if I can't, uh... Can't figure out a way to escape here. Alright, so I've got... All the bits and pieces...
Thank you, email client, once again, for useless notifications I did not need. Well, I came over here to get sulfur, and that's what I've got, so let's, um, let's fill this up with some more, uh, some more stuff. Let's see if, because I wanted to go, okay, that's, that's already getting stuck there. See, I want to, I want to get rid of this guy, but I kind of can't. I need to get this uh, to-do list out of here. There we go. I don't think I can beat this guy in one-to-one -one combat unless I'm uh, not going to get hit. Oh, okay, he's dead. Never mind then. I'll just take the uh, little bits and pieces here. Anything else I need to know about here? So I was going to get, uh, we got that power slug over there we can go check out. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a long time before we get our lower modular engines done. We probably, if we're smart, we probably should set up the uh, adaptive control unit production as well. But uh, we got we got enough stuff to take care of. We don't really have to be worried about it. Where is that up there? Is that what those no? Oh, those things are following me now. Nice. Okay. Well, they can just explode. That's fine. Um, all right. So it's definitely, it's definitely up here. Okay. So can I get away with? Uh, where's my ladders? Let's see if it's going to let me do this. Oh, okay. There's some, uh, some dudes we don't want to mess with right here. Hmm. It can be kind of hard to do that. I don't think I have any bombs. No. I don't. I have, uh... Do I have the detonator? I do. Well, I've got sulfur. Um... Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I could craft some. Uh, I don't remember what the recipe is, or if they have to be made in the equipment, uh... Equipment desk or not. They might have to be. Um... Yeah, I can't, uh... Can't do any of that. Well, we'll see. I suppose. Maybe I can make one of those and uh, make some bombs. Alright, so we've got... Equipment workshop. Yep, we sure can. Let's put this thing right down in the middle of nowhere. Okay, black powder it comes from. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't have any coal. Okay. Well, that's a, uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a fail right there. All right, I've got the uh, I've got the inhaler and I've got a sword. Um, I don't think you can kill those things with rifle ammo. I should I should have checked. Let's um let's take a look. So I haven't even made the rifle, I don't think. Rebar gun. Nope, I need screws that I don't have. All right, so we're not going to be uh we're not going to be getting fancy with any of this. We just need to make sure that we're not going to kill ourselves. Do I have anything besides these medicinal inhalers for health recovery? I don't think I do. Well, I guess it's okay. We're just going to have to be careful. Okay, that's done. Get out of range of those things. Yeah, they will come follow me, but 
you can kind of defend yourself if you're not right on top of the hive. Okay, that's done. All right, I think we're uh, yeah, gotta let these guys do their thing here. How many of these do I have? Eh, doesn't matter. Let's use it. Why not? It's the whole reason it. No, 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 no. I didn't want to take another one of those. Boo. All right, well, that's fine. We'll get our slug. All right, slug acquired. Get our hatcher remains so we can at least make some, uh, some alien protein out of it. Is... There's another one over here? So that pretty much has to be. Pretty much has to be over here. I wonder if it's higher or lower. Oh, I see. There is a slug up there. We go into photo mode. Oh, look how weird this thing wigs out when you zoom in this far. Oh, that's so weird. That's so weird. Well, if you zoom all the way out, it's fine. But you, you zoom in, this thing just flips itself. Okay. All right. So that's I don't think that I don't think that's the one that it's picking up. So this has to be over here. Yeah, it's got to be pretty much right on the other side of all that. So let's I guess up. Oh, yeah, let's take this ladder down. Take the this is so funny with this huge head for literally no reason. All right, power slug. All right, so it's got to be pretty much right here. All right. I like that we have the ladder. This makes this so much easier to do. And the fact that you can hear the, uh, hear the beeping continue as you climb higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Oh, it's on the, uh, hello. <laughs> okay. That's, um, it's not ideal. But it definitely is over there. Okay. Oh, hello. Did that thing just ragdoll off the top of that? That's weird. Let's um let's try this again. Yeah, I can see it. All right, jetpack, do your thing. All these stupid things again. All right, so that's taken care of. Is there anything else worth uh, checking out up here? See some gas over there. I don't see anything else. All right, so that, yeah, that's gonna be the one we saw up there. That's gonna be interesting to get to. Yeah, let's grab this. Okay, where? Where's my? Oh, okay, I can just jump off. I got a jetpack. Yeah, this thing definitely fell to its death from up here. That's very strange. I think the game might have some sort of a uh, a weird glitchy problem related to mobs and the April Fool stuff they're doing. Oh, well, that makes it more fun. Usually. All right. Okay, so this is basically directly underneath all of this. Am I going to climb up on a little ladder all the way up there? You better believe it. Although I... am not exactly optimistic that this will reach all the way up there. I guess we'll find out. We'll see what happens. 
Yeah, because now I only have 43. Man, why do we get so many stinking emails as soon as I go live? I can be sitting here all day. All day, and I will not get one. And then as soon as I hit go live, I'll get an email every five minutes. All right, so I'm like not even halfway. Yeah, I, ooh, wow, okay. <laughs> we're not even, we're not even halfway up there to that blue thing. Um, Am I going to be able to, oh, that's kind of cool, a little uh, rapids down there. Hold on, that is, that is a crash landing, oh, hello. That's a crash landing site that's going to be a hard drive over there. So we've got, uh, let's see, we've got wire, we've got heavy modular frames, we've got some cables, more heavy modular frames. Um, I don't see, I can't really tell what, there might, there might be a battery or a heat sink in the middle there. Uh, but we definitely can't go to that one until we have the gas mask because those pylons are over there. So what we're going to end up needing to do, uh, I'm going to make some make some foundations to climb up here on. Unless I can get away doing uh, something else here. Catwalks, no, those require the... Uh, yeah, those require those. Alright, what kind of shenanigans can I get myself into here? I just need to have some sort of platform to... Uh, to stand on where I can aim. Okay, that that will work. There we go. This is going to be like the most enormous waste of time coming up here to get one one little power slug. But it's fine. Not going to let me uh do this the other way over there. So what I can do, since I'm up here already, I can take this ladder up. Because remember, I have the jetpack, so I can fall pretty much any distance and be fine. I just have to, you know, hit spacebar before I land. Wow, I can actually reach that from up here? Okay. That works. I think that's all of the uh, stuff. So anyway, we can come up here and we can do a ladder from here and see if that's going to work. I think I think we can make it happen. All right, so that's here. Do one more of these. Then let's take our ladder up. There's probably going to be something up here that's going to just absolutely kill me. That's the way things go. Okay. How many of these? Good. I know I can do this. question is, can I reach that from here? Absolutely not. Okay. Wow, look how we can see all the way over there. So it would be worth checking out what else is up here before we uh, before we head back. That looks like a geyser. Um, that's a purple power slug over there. Okay. That's another crash site. What's, what's on that one? Uh, I can't really see much in the way of debris. I'm sure it exists, it just hasn't been uh, been put down, because that's going to have to be... That's a coal node, that's... yeah. So maybe the other half of this is... Uh, no, that would be the thing we have to open. That's pretty far away, though, so we'll, uh, we'll come back to that later. Okay, so I need to put in foundations. So that guy is... I guess I could just use the ramp. That's fine. Yeah, this is basically instant guaranteed death if I mess this up. So let's um let's not do that. All 
All right, so we got that thing. Okay, we don't want to mess with that guy, but look how cool this looks from up here. This is pretty neat. Makes everything we've built seem kind of pointless, honestly. Because it's so small, but... Yeah. Can my power slug detector even... No, it doesn't. Doesn't see it. Okay. Well, let's just disassemble all of our junk here so we don't leave any... Uh, any garbage. And then, I suppose... We just come on over here. Give ourselves an escape route for later. Now it picks up the power slug. Alright, so that's gas. Those are those are no nos. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna come back to that one. Uh, we're gonna come back to that one when we have uh, the gas mask and all that stuff. But I need to mark this on the stupid just in instead of M. I'm gonna mark this on the map with a Power slug marker. That is cool. I think this is a new feature. But that's going to be our... Uh, yep, that's a power slug. I'm just assuming that's a power slug. Alright. Um, where was the... Okay, crash site's over there. Just have to remember... Although if I have... Yeah, if I have the jetpack, I really don't need to stress out about the ladder being in any specific place. I just have to be able to get up here. Boy, what a mess this is. Okay. Yeah, because I can reach... Uh, not all of that. All right. We'll, uh, we'll just leave all this in place, and we'll see what we have to do. All right. It's picking up another power slug over here. Almost certainly going to be... Yeah, that's on the side of the cliff face. I'm not going to be able to get that. Okay, that's a Mercer Sphere. There's a Spitter over there. Oh, okay, let's just... Let's just go hard mode, I guess. Come on, Jetpack, don't fail me now. All right. Oh, neat. There's one right here. And I don't think there's anybody around us that can... Uh, Cause us to die, so that's fine. Alright, that one's acquired. Oh, nice! We're finding so many power slugs. See, this is a productive use of our time. This has been good. Oh, yeah, here we go. Wait, what is that? Is that another type of enemy that I just, like, kind of... Oh, 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 it's... Oh, no. Okay. Alright, there's uh, uranium over here. <laughs> All right. Is that a, is that like a radioactive bug? Is that what that is? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. All oh, these guys are everywhere. Okay. Okay. All right. It's um it's time for us to get out of here. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No, no, no. But I, I want to get the slug, though. Okay, all right. So now we know there's uh, there's uranium over here. And there's these bugs that run around. I do not ever remember seeing those. Mmm. This is, um... Suboptimal, we'll say. Power slug. All right, are they still following me or no? I don't think they are. That was only slightly terrifying. So that was a power slug. Um, this, I think... Were we all the way over here? We might have been. 
I'm just going to I'm just going to hit this whole uh this whole thing with radioactive danger. We're just going to leave that alone. Now I got to remember how to get back where I was. Okay, natural is that natural gas? Nitrogen gas. Okay. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, that's where we went up. That's fine, I guess. Oh, this is the area that had the gas. Okay. How bad is it, though? How bad is it? Let's, um... That one. I just want to see what's up here. Oh, that's very, that's very gas. <laughs> very, very bad. However, oh, yeah, here we go. As long as I don't get too close. Oh, there's computers. Okay, that's, that's gas. What's, um, 30 motors. Okay. How many do I have? I have 13, I think it said. Okay. Can I... Can I just make a, a YOLO run here? Okay. Let's, um... Let's avoid... Let's avoid dying. Wait, did that... Did that just eat it and not give me any health regen? Oh, that's stupid. There we go. Alright, so I see computers. Wire. Uh, heat sinks, I think, were in there too. One of those is either heat sinks or a battery. Oh no, that's a supercomputer. Or an AI limiter, one of those two. Okay. So let's um very quickly and very precisely go and get those. Uh, the wire I don't really care about, but if there's anything else of value, we probably should grab it while we're here. Uh, this do I have a drop pod logo? I guess I'll do a map marker. We'll call this um needs 30 motors drop pod icon uh, none of these are yeah I guess we'll just we'll just do that that works anything else I can grab no probably not and that other one up there there is no way we were gonna get away with that with the radioactive dudes running around, we're gonna have to get a uh, we have to get a radiation suit before we go back over there. And that is a very late game. All right, so now we're up here. Power slug. That was this one that was okay over here. Well, I've got the um, oh here we go. What is that? I've, had, I've owned this game for five years, and I have no idea what in the world... Oh, that's those crawly dudes. Hey, Marina, welcome back to uh, Satisfactory, where we have no idea what's happening, and the points don't matter. <laughs> I missed that show. Um, so we went to a nuclear wasteland to try and find stuff, and then I got chased by a nuclear cockroach. Rad roach, I guess, if you will. And I've been running around trying to get these um, these power slugs, and I've gotten, I don't know... Um, yeah, we got at least eight since we set out. It's been pretty productive, but these guys are, uh, that's, that's just weird, man. And for some reason, I can't show it to you until we're in the car, but the head on the character is huge. Um, the, <laughs> the lizard doggo now is, oh, I don't know, 20 times as big as it was. And then, uh, the giant whale, penguin, giraffe, space tick thing is, uh, really really small now 
So I think these are just existing monsters reskinned, would be my guess. I don't think this thing shoots anything at you. I think it just kind of... I think these are hogs, is what these are. They have the same kind of movement patterns and same sounds. Yeah, but they're just uh, redesigned for April Fool's Day, I suppose. Kind of a neat, a neat thing. Really creepy looking design. It's like an eyeball with legs. Tank Tribe, what's up? Finally caught one of my live streams. That you have. Running around uh, causing mischief and satisfactory. Not going to be a super long one today, but I did want to... Uh, did want to do something. Okay, any more power slugs? In this general area. Because it's okay if not, because we've gotten plenty of those. See, like, look, look, look at these guys. And then you have this thing. See, that's like a regular, I think that's an alpha hog, like the big one. But I'm pretty sure those little, like, eyeballs on legs with the antennas, those are just regular hogs. Those guys, I don't think, are changed. Breaking news from Earth. Yeah. Chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens oh, those to stupid things. Alright, so now we gotta, we gotta make a mad dash back to the car. Up here, those of you just joining us, uh, found a drop pod that needs 30 motors, but it's in radioactive, or it's not radioactive, it's just like poison gas. Over This whole area over here is like nuclear... Uh, like cockroaches, like the rad roaches are from Fallout, except they actually actively poison you with radiation. Yeah, so th we did we did get the carapace from them, and that's because they are literally just a reskin of the uh, the old hog model. I guess it's for April Fools. I've seen no reason to believe it wouldn't be, but uh, I guess we'll just leave this structure here to remind us uh, where we went up that one time. Also, I don't really feel like going back up there to get it. Is that area normally radioactive? I've never been there. So I can only assume yes. Yeah, see how see how huge our, our helmet is? I can't get it to show like the front of it, but the the helmet is just hilariously ridiculously huge. Alright, let's grab before we head out. Let's grab the rest of this um sulfur and then I don't remember what's back here. This is like a cave or just a pass through to somewhere else. It looks like this might be a cave. I can't remember if we've been in here or not. Oh no, we absolutely have. Yeah, okay, we, we did this before. Well, I will consider that to be a very successful little uh, adventure for us there. We've learned something. And we've uh, discovered that there are areas we cannot get to because we don't have radioactive protection suits. We can get away with driving through this part of this because it's not deep enough to drown the car. But we uh, definitely got our work cut out for us. I, the radioactive protection stuff I don't think we can do until tier 8? Tier 7 maybe? So uh, I don't think we're going to be going back over there for quite some time. But uh, we did find some stuff, which is nice. Found some power slugs, which is always good. And now we're back over here. Got our crafting bench. Make some more uh, alien stuff into DNA capsules we can put in the sink. Yeah, it's, this is a fun game. It is uh, interesting for sure. So I think we can make from the uh, all the power slugs we got. We should be able to make at least uh, twelve or fifteen. I can figure out where in the stupid thing they are. Oh, we can make a lot more than that. The yellow ones are uh, two each. And the blue ones are one. That purple one I wanted to get to that was in the radioactive area uh, would have been, I think, five. Yeah. So now we have 14 power shards. Very cool. And what we needed to do was we needed to get some coal so we could make explosives. That was one of the things uh, we realized that we did not have. And I think we don't have any coal left over here because we were doing 
Yeah, so that that's making reinforced um, industrial beams into the coal, I believe, was way over uh, way over here. Especially got offered a teaching position. Congrats! It is always fun to have you hang out. So. Sun keeps telling me to try it. Thanks, email client, once again. But I can't mute because my stream deck no longer displays icons for things. Unless I manually change it. Um, how bad is the aggro range of the mobs? It depends on which mobs. But um, if you're first starting out, you definitely are not going to want to engage until you have a good weapon. Or some of those things. Like Each, each one is different. And if we run into them, and I can try to show you, but... Uh, if you start in the recommended beginner start, which I think is, I don't know what it's going to call it, but it should be the very first thing it offers you. It's like a green, green field, green meadow, whatever. Uh, that will have a, um, a lot easier of an area for you to interact with. You're not going to mess with like the really high level dangerous mobs early. Uh, but that will be uh, your hog things. That's the, what I was killing that looked like the weird eyeball with the legs. That's not what they normally look like. That's a, a reskin. I, I don't know if we're going to run into one so I can show you, but they're basically big, uh, like, armadillo, wild boar hybrid kind of things. And they, they'll they circle around you, and then they charge in, and you can kill them usually with with the sword I'm holding, the uh, Xeno Basher. Uh, you can kill them with, like, three strikes of that thing. But the starting weapon, the Xeno Zapper or whatever it is, the it's, it's like a little like a fork with an electric charge going through it. You, you got to hit that guy a bunch of times with that. Uh, let's see. The plasma spitter, which was like the weird ant thing with the glowing head. Uh, that is substantially more difficult to kill because it fires projectiles. Uh, little bees. I don't think you were in here. Or you might have been. I don't know. You might have just not said anything. But the, the, the bees that come out of those weird pods in the ground, those, those are super annoying. But the, the beginner start area really doesn't have any of that except the hogs. And you can pretty reliably outrun those if you are uh, not wasting time. So it should be fine. And there's also... Um, oh yeah, and I wasn't even looking at chat. Marina said you can turn off aggro. Yeah, if you go to options, uh, gameplay, creature hostility is right at the top. I have it set to default. You can also do passive, which is they're not going to attack players or retaliate when attacked by players. Or you have retaliate, which is the third option, where they're only going to attack when you attack them. There's also an arachnophobia mode if you don't want to see spiders. Uh, it turns them into cats or cat heads. And other kind of accessibility type stuff. But no, very, very, very fun game. You will lose untold hours of productivity to it. But it's worth it. It's fine. What was I? Uh, what was I gonna do with this? Oh, I didn't need to go to this one. I needed to go over here to the equipment thing because we were gonna make some. Uh, gonna make some black powder. Yeah, that's what we were gonna do. I was gonna try and maybe do some research, experimental power generation. I think that is related to the nodes that we've already encountered, but I don't have. I don't have all this stuff yet. Uh, explosive rebar, cluster novelisk. We've got nuclear deterrent development, uh, rifle, turbo rifle ammo, and then we can get another couple of inventory slots. But uh, I don't think we can really research any of this stuff unless we uh, we have to have two hundred. Is that regular rebar? Two hundred regular rebar. Because if that's the case, we could probably actually do this. Let's uh. Yeah, that's, that's just regular rebar. So we could do that. Um, I don't think we can really make anything else. Black powder, though. we got to make black powder. And then there is a... There's another type of explosive powder we can make. I don't remember. I think that has to be researched. Sometimes I want to take my frustrations out on game mobs. Sometimes I just want to make and hoard stuff. Yeah, that's a mood for sure. But after a certain point in the game, when you get used to how the different mobs react and their attack patterns and stuff, it really is not that big of a problem. You can very quickly find yourself... Um, what's, what's the word? Uh, in over your head, I guess I should say. Because of uh, poor planning and getting yourself cornered or 
in with a whole bunch of mobs at once. But if that if that kind of thing is going to happen, you're going to know. Because you're going to think, oh, well, should I, should I go in here and do this? Probably not, and you do it anyway. Yeah, okay, you set yourself up for failure. But it's it's a pretty forgiving game. Just try not to fall off into the void because then your stuff's gone forever. Yes, or thrown off of ledges. But anytime you die in the game, assuming you're in, in an accessible place, it drops a crate and all your stuff is there. Unless you fall into the void. Don't fall into the void. <sighs> oh, Steam emailed me. City State 2 from your Steam wish list is now on sale. 65% off. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, that's one of those I was maybe looking at doing a video on at some point a long time ago. So maybe I'll pick it up. Who knows? <sighs> Alright, so we're going to make some black powder. I'm not going to use all of my uh, sulfur in case we need it for research stuff. But I want to find out about making uh, making some of this other stuff. Yeah, don't fall through the map. I did find a glitch... Uh, I think it might be related to the large head that they re they replaced on the player model. Uh, but I had uh, caught my uh, car in between a couple of rocks, and I got out while looking a specific way, and it put me inside the rocks, like inside the terrain, and I could walk around under the map. It was kind of weird. Uh, but sulfur. See, this experimental power generation, I'm really not sure what this is, but I think it has something to do with those nodes we found with the natural gas and the uh, geysers and everything. So I think uh, I think we're going to go see if we can find some rotors and some modular frames up here in our area and do a little bit of research. Okay, so this is... Oh! I paused production of smart plating. That's right. Because we had um, a lot of smart plating that needed to be used for our um, our modular engines, I think is what this is. Yes. Oh, it's out of motors. Oh, no, that's slowing down stuff considerably. Okay. Uh, the rotors are supposed to be going to the motors. Why are they not... Why are they not coming out of here? They're not being produced anymore because why? Screws! I thought we solved this problem with the screws. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. We, we built this whole thing last time. This is all... Is it? Is it because it's stopped up? Because we're full on the... Ah, uh... Uh, yeah, that's probably almost exactly what it is. All right. I really need to have some sort of an overflow here. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, is all these screws sitting right here. 100%. Is what happened. There we go. So now, now it's going to send all of these screws back where they're supposed to be, and then we can keep making stuff. That's a bummer, though, because we could have easily, could have easily by this point been to almost 200 of those modular engines without it being a whole thing. And the train just dropped off some goodies, too. Remember you mentioning always needing screws? Yes. Yes. I am not even joking. Like, you literally will never have enough screws. It's satisfactory. It is unbelievable. Alright, so that's... That's an improvement, at least. Because I wanted to grab some of these... Uh, some of these rotors, but... Uh, I think we need them. I need a hundred. And I don't think... Yeah... This is... Um, oh, it takes so long to manually make them, too. I think it might actually be faster to just let this machine do its thing at 250% speed. As uh, slow as it is. That is really unfortunate, because this takes so stinking long. If I had enough rotors to have this go faster, we'd be fine, but... We don't need to, because this thing at full tilt can only take five to begin with. 
So I, I really should have another one of these set up, but I, uh, I can't supply the motors fast enough. That's why we don't have more than one. Yeah, the Timberborn videos are really good for binging. Like, I've found, like, other people who played the game. Very, very good. Just sit down and just consume kind of content. It's a really fun game. I mean, obviously, at this point I've made, I don't even know how many hundreds of videos on it, but it's just, it's really rewarding. It has a, a lot of good replayability. And it's just fun. People really like them, so ends up being a, uh, a very worthwhile expenditure of my time. What are we making here? Heavy modular frames. Okay. That's fine. Gotta fill this back up for our, all this other stuff. So as long as we're making, uh, making enough rotors, I think we're gonna be okay. But I will go ahead and grab, just to make some of these manually, grab a couple stacks of this stuff. Um, where, oh, we have so many rods. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just do a little bit of our own thing here. Uh, as long as I don't forget what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, we'll make 40 of these. That'll get us closer to our experimental power generation research. And I think we also need a regular modular frame, so that's not going to be a big deal. Uh, we need to make rebar for the gun. We probably should always have uh, the rifle on us for getting uh, the other other animals taken care of. The only bad thing about doing this manually is it takes 800 years. But that's why live streams are great, because I don't have to sit here and edit this for 8 hours to put out a 30 minute video. We can just enjoy, enjoy each other's company. Like it because it's a non-stress game? Yes, absolutely. I have enough stress at work. Play easy on almost all maps, normal on some maps, and only survived hard mode pre-update 4. Yeah. Uh, it is very difficult with the bad water. I accidentally trained myself to sleep when Timberborn's on. Yeah, it does that. Well, depending on who's playing it, I don't think I could. Uh, I don't think I could fall asleep watching like RCE play Timberborn. His his videos are just too fast paced. He uses all the sound effects and everything. But oh man, if if Biffa was streaming Timberborn, I would I'd fall asleep immediately. That that's not like that's not me dogging on him. He's just got that kind of voice, that kind of presence, very soothing. I think it's because when it gets stressful, I lose interest. Me too. <laughs> it's it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a relaxing thing you do to kill some time and relieve stress in other parts of your life. I I don't, don't want to play video games to get stressed out. <laughs> it's not, I don't know, some people might like that, but that is not what I would consider to be fun. I really liked, not to spend the whole stream talking about other people's YouTube channels, but uh, I really liked his uh, his videos he's done on the, what is that, the drainage simulator? He's got a, uh, this, I guess it's it's like an educational tool for, um, for people who go into uh, water drainage engineering or whatever. But he's he's playing it like a game, which is hilarious. <laughs> no, but it's, and he put out like a forty-five minute one, and some people got really mad in the comments. But this is really boring. I'm like, shut up! This is great. This is fantastic content. I love this. No, but is he's got a he's got a really really good presence. Just like really really high energy, just fun. Now, what I what I make videos the. The style that he likes to make his videos now, no, I, I, I don't want to make videos like that, but I'll watch them. It's fun. Especially because, um, I guess I shouldn't, get, I shouldn't get too, uh, too into, uh, other people's private lives, but, uh, I know somebody who's, uh, actually working, uh, like their job is to be like a, I guess it's some some facet of civil engineering, and they part of what they do is that exact same type of drainage stuff. So I was <laughs> talking to them the other day, and I start talking about all these other things. Like, oh yeah, no, that's the thing. That's a, that's the thing. We actually do that. 
It's just fun. I, I love games like that. I read something once that people, most people that prefer FPS games like them because of the adrenaline and those that play chill games like them for the serotonin. I would absolutely believe that. I do not like FPS games. Do not like them. I played a whole lot of Halo when I was in high school. Played a little bit of Call of Duty because that's that's all anybody ever wanted to play. It was, oh, hey, you want to play Call of Duty? All right, sure, fine, whatever. But uh, now, now I don't want to. I want to play shooters. I want. I want to make something. I want to create something. I want. I want to do something that has some sort of a positive impact on the environment in which I am participating, or at the very least, is funny. If it's not a positive thing, like I, I don't want to go shoot people. I want to make factories and cities and stuff, drive a train, or whatever have you. Oh my god, these emails, man. <sighs> That's annoying. Well, um, what was I... Oh, I needed to get more rods. So I gotta make a bunch of stuff with rods. But I think we might start running out of those sometime pretty soon. This shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be sending anything out the rejection chute because this isn't full yet. But I want to see... If it backs up the plates, does it ever send anything into the into the crusher from the plate thing? Or have I just perfectly timed it so I don't have to worry about it? Yep, okay, that's exactly what it was doing. Cool. He's so extreme sometimes that it's fun. Yes. That's kind of his whole thing. That's why I like the videos of his I do like. That's why I like those. He comes up with the most off-the-wall stuff. He thinks something is wrong with him. Oh, there's absolutely something wrong with him, but it's fun. And he's he's just a nice guy, man. Like he'll just he he popped up in the Timberborn Discord a couple. He he doesn't talk in there, but he'll pop up just randomly. I knew he was doing uh, when he was still playing. I think it was uh, might have even been update three or whatever. Uh, but I knew he was gonna put out a video on um, on the Choo Choo mod because he showed up in the mod thread like a week before that video came out, and he was asking about details. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good when he starts putting it in there. No, I think, um, oh man, I liked his Polybridge videos. I think that was how I found him, actually, is when he was uh, he was making those. Uh, the That's a fun game. I streamed that on Twitch, oh, a couple years ago. I need to get back into Twitch. It's, it's just so hard. I need to watch, oh man, I wish I could remember what his actual name was. I need to watch the elf guy. Because <laughs> he... He, he's, he was always posting in the uh, the Timberborn Discord and different things, like trying to get mods figured out or asking questions about the water beepers especially. Yeah, Skystorm. I haven't watched his stuff in a while, but always, always good Timberborn content. I don't know anything about Lathland. I don't think I've heard that name before. Did we run out of... Oh, no. Did, did, did we clog this thing again? I think we might have clogged it again. Either that or okay, no, they're they're just working on a uh, on a whole thing of pipes. I want to get Mark V belts. These are so slow. Well, they're not slow. They're Mark IVs, but for the amount of stuff we have coming out of here, they're not fast. What I could do? Uh, do I have enough to make a smart supply? I do. I could actually stack these. I could have a, a second smart splitter and just duplicate it so we can have uh, two inputs at the same time. Oh man, RT game. I haven't watched this stuff in forever. But um, when he was doing Cities Skylines, what did you do during your stream? Oh, we talked about other people's YouTube channels. It's fine. <laughs> but he, he, was, he was doing those Cities Skylines videos. And I don't know, for whatever reason... It was just the funniest possible thing that I had could possibly have conceived watching was him destroying these cities while John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads blasts in the background. It's like, it's so stupid. It's it's incredibly stupid, but it was so funny. <laughs> it's just that kind of stupid humor. I just I just love. Eld Games. Okay, that's his name. I'm gonna have to go watch those. 
it, it's it, oh man it's just it's so hard for me to find time to get invested in like long form video content because i spend my time making it <laughs> I spent my time making it, and then I, I got to go, like, you know, work actual job stuff, quote unquote. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't have time to watch some guy play video games at an hour a day on YouTube. And then I think about, wait, I am the guy who plays video games for an hour on YouTube every day. Well, I can't complain about this. No, but man, it's God. Archie, Archie game, he's got a really good sense of humor. It's just, it's just always funny. Like, I don't know, some some of the games he plays, like, all right, I really don't care about this, but it's it's just always entertaining to watch his stuff. Him and Matt, I think, I would probably watch almost anything that they put out. Even if it's a game I don't care about, just because their personalities are so great. But anyway, I came over here to figure out why we don't have screws happening. And I think what's happened now is... Uh, yeah, we got these... Uh, got these steel beams... There we go. Now we shouldn't have any problems with screws coming out here because now there's, I don't know, 20,000 of them sitting here. <laughs> Stardew Valley turned into a Breaking Bad roleplay. <laughs> I, I didn't watch that, but I could absolutely, I could absolutely see, I'm, God, I'm crying. I could absolutely see that happening. I'm just trying to imagine. Oh no, because it, it it would just work. It would just work so well. <laughs> Man, oh, I love Stardew Valley. Man, what a great game. I haven't played it in oh man, eight years. I I played it a whole lot when I bought it. I don't. I didn't like "quote unquote" finish, but I. Uh, I think at the time I'd done almost everything that you could do. But I know. I know it's continued getting updates. Why are we still not sending screws out here? Did this? Is this still clogged? Oh, okay. Because this. This has to be. Uh, this has to be emptied out enough. Okay. Now. Okay. Here we go. Now we got screws. This is like faster than I can fly. Okay. Maybe it's not that slow. All right, I need to get rid of the beams. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of the stator. We already have that automated. Limestone, that can go bye-bye. Leaves, bye-bye. Can I... Oh, I shouldn't get rid of the first style framework. That's such a pain to make more of that. Um, oh, I need to make modular frames. I need to make iron rods. I don't think I have extra iron rods, though, was the problem that we were, uh, we were running into. There's none stored in there. There's none stored in there. Yeah, we are, uh, we're using all of our iron rods. That's a little bit of a problem here. Yeah, the update came out, I think, was it 1.6 or whatever? But yeah, it came out last week. I need to get back into that. I mean, I don't because I, I super do not have time <laughs> to, to get sucked back into Stardew Valley. But it's just such a good game. It's it's just you wouldn't think about. Well, I, I didn't in what, 2015, 2016 or whenever I started playing the game. I didn't think it was going to be that much like, OK, cool. It's a cute little pixel art farm simulator thing. But no, it's got incredibly good writing behind like the characters and all this different stuff. It's very well done. Like, legitimately enjoyable to play. I was making rotors. Oh, I got rid of all my screws. Okay, I'm not I'm not uh, firing on all cylinders today, am I? Certainly does not seem like it. We need to get uh, reinforced iron plates. Why was I even doing this to begin with? I wanted to do, yeah, I wanted to do research for the uh, experimental power generation. Yeah, because this was going to be some sort of something or other. Uh, explosive rebar. Um, that ingredient on the left is some sort of uh, some sort of other powder that's not black powder, but I don't know what it is. Oh, smokeless powder. Oh, okay. You need the plastic for that. Okay. Well, we know where to get uh, we know where to get plastic. But now my problem is I don't have enough rods. 
It's like we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to figure this out because we got a we got a finely balanced uh, perfect production here that slowly uh, slowly filling up. Like it's backing up a tiny bit in some spots, but it's. Uh, I don't think it's something that needs to really be a uh, be a concern. I want to take the stack of these uh, these ingots so bad, but I know it's going to mess up our production otherwise. I would not be surprised if the uh, the ship that hit the bridge had all sorts of stuff in it. Tends to be what you do with those. Until you said smokeless, I was thinking sulfur. I mean, that's that's how you make the uh, the powder. All right, why? Okay, that's why. Am I like stuck in the? Okay, no, we're good. Um, man, I just I want to get. I want to get a stack of these things, but I know it's not going to go well. Oh well. It'll be fine. It'll eventually fill it back up. You just can't. Uh, you can't get too uh, too cozy here without something going wrong. Yeah, so I got this. I'll just I'll just take this stack too. It's fine. They'll get it figured out. Some of those are pretty full up. All right. I just need to make a whole bunch of iron rods. So we'll, we'll just park ourselves here and do this for a second. Uh, how did it get to be almost 10 o'clock? Well, those of you following the Penguin game will enjoy tomorrow's video. Or tonight if you're on the uh, Beard Boosters. But it's, uh, we'll finally get exploration going. Which is a completely different game. It opens up so many different possibilities. Very, very interesting once we, uh, once we figure out how to do all that stuff. That game's been a whole lot of fun. Well, I cannot uh, legally give you uh, psychiatric advice or anything, but I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you're able to uh, find some sort of relaxing quality to those. That is part of the reason why I wanted to start doing uh, doing videos like this. Well, this is this is a live stream. You, you get what I'm saying? Because there's, there's just so much stuff on YouTube that is just mindless and not actually like having any sort of either uh, what's what's the correct term? I don't I don't want to say stimulating because some people are going to take that the wrong way, but it's just stuff that occupies your brain space but doesn't actually provide that much benefit versus oh hey let's play a game and not fill it with poop jokes for a half an hour which okay don't get me wrong sometimes those can be funny but sometimes you just want to hang out and just relax really glad you decided to do a season two yes i am so glad i didn't give up on the game because it is so much better so much better the second time around where do I have um, reinforced... Oh, we have so many of these. These reinforced plates. I gotta grab some of these. Are you a medium? I am an extra large. I know what you meant. Can't ever resist that, though. So this was turned off for the smart plating, so I can actually just grab... Uh, I can grab this whole stack. Cool. All right, let's, uh, let's make some of these uh, modular frames. I need to have 50 of those. And I already have 25, so we're, we're going to end up with one extra, which is annoying. But it is what it is. And then we'll just have to have... Uh... See, I already forgot what the other thing was. That's fine.
I think you could use a little bit of balancing to prevent soft locked. Yeah. Oh man, that was so irritating. I, I was like right at the cusp of getting there and it just never worked. Yeah, the chaos is uh, the chaos is always always a fun part. That's always a fun thing to get into. Let's go grab some plastic so we can make some smokeless powder. Except I don't know which one of these. I think it's this one has plastic in it. Yes. Okay. I believe. Uh, yeah, I want to leave two of those open. We know we can come back and get more later. There's plenty of it in there. What was the third thing that I, oh it was rotors? Oh, that's what was that's what was such a huge pain in the butt was making these things. And you know why? Because we needed screws. And guess what? I don't see coming out of here. That's right, it's screws. Wow, how did I know it was directly because of these stupid things? Yep, there goes uh. There goes another whole uh, stack of these things faster than you can actually uh, get anything in here. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just move that all the way back up there. There we go. Yeah, we need all sorts of this stuff coming in. Now the problem I'm going to run into is that I'm going to be out of space. Like an idiot. Because I thought it would be smart to build things... Poorly. Uh, that's so annoying. Why did I do this to myself? Because I need the screws, but I can't take them with me. Because I don't have the space. But if I go down there and I wait for them to fill up that other that other thing, they're not going to be there. Can you daisy chain storages? Yes. Yes, you can. The problem we're having here is I'm not using... Uh, I have the pipes automated, and I have the screws automated. These guys, the beams, we do not. I don't have them going anywhere because I don't currently have a high volume usage for them. But we will at some point and then that will mostly solve mostly solve that problem. So if I'm making rotors, see I already have the stack of rotors so I think it's fine. I just have to have space to uh, put the product out wherever that is. Now we can make some rotors. Yeah, I, I really should recycle the steel beams. But this is such a mess over here. I kind of don't want to... Uh, I kind of don't want to mess with it, honestly. Oh, it's April 1st. You know what that means? It means I've got promotional memberships I can gift out. YouTube gives me five every month. But I can't do it from my stream console. I have to come in from, like, my personal account in viewer mode to uh, interact with it. Then I have, I have to watch my own stream as myself and then figure out how to do stuff. All right. Um, where is this live stream. Oh, I have to watch an ad to watch my own stream as myself. Okay, thanks YouTube. Am I gonna get paid for this? Okay. No, I don't want to buy this garbage. Alright. Skip. Okay. Now I'm in my own chat. Membership. Gifting. Oh, did it not reload them? Oh, that's garbage. I thought it was on the first. Um, hmm, okay. Well, I guess I can't. Sorry, folks. I thought it was going to let me do that. Cause it's, it's like every month it's supposed to give you, I think, five free ones you can hand out to people. But it doesn't seem to, uh, doesn't seem to want to let me do it. That's very annoying. Oh, well. I tried. Let the record state that I tried. <laughs> I guess we'll we'll just have to wait. Wait and see if anybody shows up who likes to drop gift sub bombs. 
Oh, that's Twitch. That's not a... That's, all right. We need to get more... Uh, uh, I need to get more screws. I also probably should do some more stuff for the... Uh, for the actual membership itself. It was just, it started out as one of those things where like people were like, hey, can I send you money? And I said no, because I had no way for them to actually do it. And I wasn't gonna give them my personal PayPal account. But then I was able to do the uh, the YouTube membership thing, so that, that's more or less how that started out. On my phone, so going to full screen. Oh, that's gotta be hard to see stuff on a phone screen. But hopefully you can see detail. Once we get to 100 rotors, then we can go and research that alternative power generation, and then uh, maybe, maybe we get something else interesting to look at. Who knows? Oh my god, how do I get so many stinking emails when I'm live? I've been live an hour and 20 minutes, and I've gotten like 15 emails. Why? Why is it like this? Alright. This is waiting on motors. Does not have any motors. Does not have any rotors. Does not have any rotors because why? Is it because we're waiting on... What are we waiting on? Screws! Never would have guessed. Absolutely never would have guessed. Alright, that tears it. We are absolutely, absolutely going to just waste all of our, our all of our steel beams so I want to uh, hook this up to wait that's not even uh, that's not even gonna let me put that in there all right um, what about a merger no okay well in that case I'll just get rid of this entirely Mark for conveyor belt. Give me a merger. There we go. Uh, give me the Mark IV belt. Here to here. Okay, now. Now, friends. Now. We can come in here. Oh, that's so high. That doesn't need to be that high. Alright, let's come up here. I wish I could figure out how high this actually was. Uh, I'm going to assume this is the correct height. Just, uh, hopefully. Uh, we'll fix that. It is, in fact, screws. You win. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let me get this, uh... I guess we'll just do uh, one of these numbers here. Try to, uh, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. The conveyor, the conveyor belt's too steep. Yeah, cry about it. Uh, that's in the right spot. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just run this elevated on the side here. How far out can I go? Too long? That's not too long. So we'll just gently have this descend. Run into the car. Can't afford. Cry about it. No, oh, that's me. Never mind. So I need to make industrial reinforced industrial beams. I have 23 in here. Why do I not have... Uh... Wait, why is it out? Oh, it's out of modular frames because we aren't making enough here because these are five per minute that's very slow okay and that has all of its materials though so i guess that's fine uh the reinforced plates seem to be a problem no not really it, it honestly it's it's probably screws again being the root cause 
of all of our problems. Well, I know I can take this and this and this. No problems. I guess I have to wait for this guy to come out. I need a couple more of these Mark IVs, Mark IV belts. So I've got to have the, uh, got to have the encased. I always want to call these reinforced. They're encased industrial beams. Now, in engineering, there's probably a specific term for these that is uh, a trademark or whatever. Spancrete or whatever. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I took music major math, which is to say uh, basic algebra in college in 2011, and that was the last time I was in a math class. So make of that what you will. But we have to be able to get this uh, hooked up, I think... I think it's probably just going to be best to do this. Uh, too steep. Okay. Can I do a shorter... A shorter deal like this, maybe? Oh, and now I, now I need two more. Okay. Alright, well, we can make that happen. Let's grab these things. And we'll get a couple more for good measure. Took English major math, a.k.a. geometry. Well, that was a little bit too advanced for me. No, uh, I took geometry in high school. Middle school? I don't know. I can tell you what shapes are. <laughs> that's, that's about it. At one point, I would have been able to do proofs. But, uh... Okay, I stepped into big time here. Let's get back. There we go. Okay, so now we have... Oh, look at these things. Look at these things go. Right into the crusher. Oh, I didn't feed my DNA capsules into there. Okay, so we need to put in a... Uh, we need to put in one of those containers again. Let's do that. At some point I am going to have to uh, end the stream here, but we are having a good time, so I want to... Uh, Keep going for at least a little bit. Let's see. Mark IV belt. Mark IV belt. Put that in there. What else do I want to recycle? Uh, get some coal out of here. That's probably fine. We have plenty of concrete. That's not going to be a uh, an issue at all. Another email! My god. Okay. Another email. Okay. Hmm. That's fine. I need to change it to a uh, more interesting sound than just the default one. Because at least that would make it entertaining. Alright, so the pipes are... Uh-uh. Okay, no, 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 no. You gotta go, you gotta go all the way up there. I gotta have these gotta have these screws coming out of here, man. Too much depends on the screws. Absolutely no way can we can we survive without having the screws go in. A rabbit would be good. Like what kind of rabbit sound? I actually don't even know that much about rabbits. Ribbit. Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, I mean, I guess rabbits make noise, but uh, uh, there's not really an iconic rabbit noise I can think of. Yeah, the only thing we can research is the gas mask, and I can't research it because I don't have fabric because I haven't found mushrooms yet. That's fine. Let's 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 just research this. All right, experimental power generation. What's it going to give us? All right, so that gives us compacted coal. That's kind of useless. Whoa, turbo fuel. All right, let's go. That is a power plate. Turbo fuel is so useful. So I need to have... Wait, it costs me a hard drive to research it? What? Like, do I have to unlock the recipe in a hard drive? Or do I just have to have a hard drive I haven't analyzed yet? Oh, and I have to use compacted coal to get to it. Okay. Okay. All right, well, I guess we're not doing that today. <laughs> what else What else can we get to with our uh, explosive rebar here? I really should... 
Oh, no. You have to have 100 motors to make... Okay, we're not doing that today. Definitely not. Oh, and you can't even use... You can't even use the rebar and rifle ammo. Oh, that's so annoying. Actually, I don't know. Let's let's check this out. Um. Oh, I, I can't look at the recipe for rifle ammo because I haven't unlocked it yet. Well, we can make a rebar gun and shoot rebar, so alright, we're not going to waste our time on that. At least not for right now. Now, the, the novelisks, that, that could be promising. The cluster novelisk, I don't know, I guess it's literally a cluster bomb. Nuclear deterrent, that's diabolical. But, um, quartz. Shatter rebar, oh, it's like the needler. I loved playing with the needler in Halo 2. Halo 3, it wasn't quite as good. Because you couldn't dual wield them. It was, okay, it was probably a better weapon, probably a better damage, whatever. But it was just so cool in Halo 2 to dual wield those things. It's like, it shoots blue needles that explode. Wow! It's like, yeah, you know, the kind of thing like 14 year old you is just going to go absolutely nuts over. I don't know, your mileage may vary. Explosive resonance application, huh? Okay. Radio signal scanning. Yeah, I wanted to do this one. But, um,. A hundred of those uh, frequency oscillators or whatever that thing was called. That's a bit of a tough ask. I never really remember what the radar tower did. Oh, oh, that's actually really useful. Never mind. Yeah, we're going to want to get into that at some point. Uh, we already did power slugs. Uh, nutritional processor, I'm pretty sure just unlocks some sort of other type of food. I don't really care about that. Uh, mycelia, medical properties... Toxic cellular modification. Oh, that's diabolical. Uh, Caterium lets us do stun rebar. Mark three power poles, high speed connectors, uh, power switches, etc. Supercomputers. Programmable splitters. Bullet guidance system. Okay. How have we still not researched all this? Scannable object enemies. Okay. Oh man, if I hadn't got rid of all of my uh, all of my alien DNA stuff, I could have got another hand equipment slot. Protein inhaler. Um, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's see what. Let's go. Let's go kill something, and then research that. Oh, also, I made a hypertube cannon. I don't remember if any of you were uh, in here. I think if Roy is still here, I think he was here when we played with that. But I don't. I don't think anyone else was in here uh, when we were messing with that. So maybe we'll do that. Before I uh, end stream today. I just need to have something to kill so I can get protein. Hey, look at this guy. Yeah, this guy is supposed to be a, uh, a hog, but he's got his weird model on. And then the uh, the remains he drops are hog remains. Alright, anybody else? What's up? I need to know, we're not going to kill this guy, but I need to know if I can, uh, if I can still bounce on him when he's tiny. Yes! glorious. Does it conserve momentum? Well, now he's not walking, so I guess it's a uh, a moot point. Alright. So that was neat, but I need to kill something. Anybody over here? Anybody at all? Yeah, it really is. It's so funny. I love when they just do stupid, harmless stuff like that for April Fool's. There's got to be somebody over here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, so I got two little bits of protein. I'm not getting the sphere. It's going to tell me I need to get the sphere. I'm not going to get the sphere. I will not fall victim to propaganda. All right, anybody up here we can uh, we can get rid of? Harvest. No, I will not. I refuse. I thought there was something up here. Maybe I was wrong. But our Caterium factory is down there. Uh, quick wire, etc. That's toxic gas. I don't think we've... Uh, is that a blue power slug? Absolutely is. Uh, that's uranium? Yep. 
the nuclear stuff in this game is cool. We just haven't uh, haven't gotten into it. Oh, hold on. This is something we can blow up and see what's inside. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I don't have any novelists, but I do have black powder, which means I can make some. If we do a, um, no, it's gonna have to be an equipment workshop. I love that I can just make this anywhere. All right, novelists. Let's get a, let's make a couple of these. All right, I got ten of these things. Where's my, where's my bomb detonator? How much of that did I blow up? Not enough? Okay. All right, now get all those crumbs out of here so I can walk in there and see what's up. Oh man, I never played WoW. Thankfully, I probably would have failed middle school if I if I had started with all that. I I was a I was a RuneScape guy personally, but I, I had friends that were really into. Why is this just suspended in the air? Okay, it'll go away. I really really liked that kind of. Oh hello, oh, we can kill this. What's good? Not you. All right, so we got spitter remains. And there's a purple power slug. But before we go to... Oh, okay, I hear uh, I hear some sort of bad stuff up here. Let's grab the slug. This guy's good for five of these uh, power uh, overchargers, turbo overclockers, whatever the thing's called. Yes. Okay, this is a hog. That's what they're supposed to look like. That actually could be an alpha hog. Alright, I think it's dead. Where's the, uh... Oh, wait, no, it's not. Yeah, alpha hog. Three hog remains. What was it? Was it Morrowind? Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. You could level up your athletics by just jumping everywhere. And it had, like, no limit to it. So you could just point yourself into a corner doing sprinting and just jump repeatedly, and you'd have crazy high athletics level skill in no time. That was a long time ago. Oh, this looks so nice from up here. I don't really spend too much time uh, over in this area. I need to finish that building. And the uh, top of that one. But yeah, this is, this is a good-looking game. It really is. A little, you can see the train going. This is cool. All right, so now I'm just going to jump off this. Oh, 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 oh. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Let's come over here and uh, get this guy because we're already up here. This thing's probably going to just burst all over me here. Oh, okay, they're all gone. Neat. Look how productive we've been today, folks. This has been great. Grab that. Uh, let's not fall off. Um, okay, I am I am required under international video game law to see what's behind the waterfall. Well, I'll be. How about that? <laughs> There's actually a cave back here. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. What's what's up here? Besides the stupid S that we can't do anything with. Another waterfall, huh? There's that bacon, whatever this is. Yeah, look at look at this, man. I got rewarded for going behind the waterfall. That thing makes toxic gas, so let's not agitate that. Um, there are no mushrooms in here. That's this bacon uh, agaric or whatever it is just a food thing you can eat. I it has nothing to do with the mushrooms. Mushrooms come in a specific biome uh, that we are not currently in. comply. I will not. I'm not a part of your system. Except I definitely am. Alright, so that guy's done. Anything else up here I should know about since we made such a huge detour? Yeah, 
Okay, that thing makes gas. That's bad news. Those make gas. Uh, I don't know that there's anything else up here that we really need to uh, worry about. But there's a power slug. And up there, there's another power slug, but there's going to be some uh, some nasty, nasty over here. All right, so let's look at the map. That I'm going to... Uh, let's pop a slug on that thing so we know it's there. Uh, there's a yellow slug over there. I mean, I don't need to have all these slugs right now. I just figured I could get them because we are already here. And we'll catch them later. But that, the purple, if I if I only mark the purple once, I think that's going to be a good system. Because there we have that one. And then, uh, where's this other one? I can't remember where we were. Oh, yeah, way up here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so um, I do still have the jetpack on. Oh, no. Okay, no, I do. All right. Little, little terrifying for a second. But we'll just go ahead and peacefully make ourselves. Oh, hey, more stuff to blow up. And that's a purple. Nice. Oh, there's chat backlog I haven't read. Son's friends flip when they find out I'm a gamer, then they throw them advice for them to the games they know well, and they get all mind exploding. That's always fun. It's always funny when you get to, like, interact with someone who's, quote-unquote, not from your generation. Another email. Okay. I might have to actually end the stream here in a second and see exactly why I'm getting so many emails at 10 o'clock on a Monday evening. But let's, um... Hopefully this doesn't kill me. There we go. Cool. Purple slug. Very nice. Let's grab that guy. This has been so productive. I love it when we can get stuff done. But I don't see anything else up there, so let's go ahead and just... Uh, Hey, another one of those things I can kill. Oh, no, that's not a... Th that, that's fragments from our explosion that came all the way down here. Wow. Okay. All right. Now, now we can do our alien DNA. Easy. So now I can make 10 alien DNA capsules. I think I needed five for that one research to make the extra hand slot. And I don't know what else we could do with another another five, but we'll, we'll check and see. Do a little bit, and then I probably will have to go ahead and quote-unquote be a productive, functional adult. You know how it goes. All right, so this will give us an extra uh, tool belt slot. I just need to go get more uh, steel beams. This shouldn't be a problem. I know we have tons of those. I'm going to build a power pole. Get out of here. There we go. Alright. Extra hand slot. Super useful. Then uh, I don't really care to detect them with my detector thing, so we can leave that alone. Uh, Katerium we already talked about. We don't need to worry about that. So, uh, the next hand slot, I think uh, I'm going to want all these, and then I will put the uh, medicinal inhaler. There. And I think I can, if I have the other types of food, I think I can make more of those. Or is that in this? Yeah. Maybe. Mm, why can't I do that? Did I just, did I just miss it? Like, I feel like it has to be, uh, Huh, that's weird. Maybe it doesn't show up if I don't have the ingredients for it. I don't know. Oh, don't I know it. I know. <laughs> I am painfully aware. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, man. So I guess I can't make any more medicinal inhalers, but now I have one more slot freed so I can carry some more stuff, which is nice. Um, Do I dare check and see the progress of our... Oh, okay, cool. We have screws. Very nice. How are we looking here? Okay, so that still can't... Uh, 
can't quite keep up, which is surprising given how uh, how many we have. I guess that's probably one of those things uh, because we're splitting this three ways. Why is there so much motion blur on this? I shouldn't be doing any of that. Well, it's going to send that in there. I know we're making a ton of heavy modular frames, so that's going to use a lot of those. But I just I need to get the Mark V belts. That's the thing that's going to take the longest to uh, get to. Since we are here making our modular engines, let's take a look at the adaptive control. Oh, yeah, this is going to be such a pain in the butt. Each of these needs computers. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, and the smart wiring. That's uh, the smart wiring you have to make in the assembler, which is fine. Uh, but the recipe for that guy... Or auto, whatever, automated wiring, stators in the cables. We can actually do that. But I don't think I want to mess with that right now. We way too much to uh way too much to get into. I gotta get these motors coming out faster though. So I'll tell you what. I'll just uh I'll just fill that up with those fourteen. Hopefully that can catch up. Uh but this needs five motors per minute. This can produce five motors per minute and needs ten rotors to do so though. And currently we still have uh, just the one assembler making rotors at a maximum speed of 10 per minute. But it's also sending rotors out to... Well, actually, we're not using these. So I guess that's fine. Uh, we need a computer factory. Yeah, that would take me like five streams to build one of those. <laughs> That'd be just complete nonsense. But, uh, you know, I think we still got a lot of good stuff done. We managed to uh, accomplish... Even if we didn't get the uh, the modular engines complete, we did kind of fix the problem as to why they weren't being made. And we found a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, we've got some uh, got some slugs. Actually, I will go ahead and turn these into the uh, power shards since we're already here. Because you never know where you're going to need to have a whole bunch of these things just laying around for no reason. Yep, that's that's all good. Neat. Yep, that's uh, about all she wrote, I guess. Go figure out what else I've uh, apparently got to dedicate a bunch of attention to. Either that or it's all ads. <laughs> or something like, you don't want to miss this one-day sale now through Friday. It's like, it's not a one-day sale if it's four days, idiots. Anyway, <laughs> I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, Marina, Tank Tribe, Roy, if you're still here, Battery Smooth, I know you probably had to dip because it's, I don't know, or five in the morning over there but uh appreciate you guys hope uh had a fun time and we'll hopefully see you again soon with another stream i don't know exactly when i'm gonna try try as we get closer to summer to have a dedicated uh strict streaming schedule so you can expect uh times and days to be able to find me here and maybe over on twitch too but uh we'll see what happens have a fantastic rest of your evening. Always, always good to spend some time with you. And I hope we'll see you again very, very soon. We got penguins tomorrow. It's a good one. So I hope to see you in there as well. Yep. Catch you later, friendos. Take care.